Well, it's pretty clear to me at this point that the UK media will never stop being a joke because the things that they say are actually very ridiculous and it's just so laughable. And obviously, it's in collaboration with this royal family because you can see that these people, the headlines that they write are always in favor of these other members of the royal family. So I very much believe that it's in collaboration with them and they tell them what they should write and they just try always to protect these members of the royal family or portray these members of the royal family in a very good way. They will never stop being a joke. And recently, they came up with these articles, numerous articles actually, saying how William was named uh, as U.S. most popular figure ahead of Trump and Zelensky. And they even said how uh, Putin was the one who tailed. This is just so funny, right? William being most popular figure in the U.S.? This is just a joke. I'm very sure that most people in the u.s don't actually love prince william well i just love this woman's reaction to this story very much and i'd love to share it with you just listen to this Sorry, prince william united states now that i'm a little bit shocked by this i don't know if you are a u.s poll of well-known names on the world stage has put prince william on top proving just how popular he is across the pond now he's been <laughs> the likes of joe biden donald trump um and even his father king charles i know are you shocked by yes, this i am i i lived in america a long time and honestly i think most of them don't know who he is they really don't uh i mean they're aware of the royals but i don't like some of them don't they didn't even know about harry until Meghan married them so i think what has happened to you is they were given a list of people so he's the best of a bad lot <laughs> that's basically what happened i mean so yeah he but he scored 30 i think he's inoffensive to them so that's probably why so he got 37 percent Zelensky um 28 king charles he only got nine percent but putin Vladimir Putin minus 85%. So there we go. <laughs> Trump Trump was minus 14%. I am sure. I don't I don't think Americans are that bothered about the royals. So as I say, I think they were given a list of names and this is the I think this woman truly nailed it. Like she just spoke facts and I'm very sure that royalists are not going to be happy to hear this because they just love to see that Prince William is at the top. They love to hear that Prince William is popular and whatnot. But in real sense, that is not what is happening. This is just a spin by the media to make it look as though William and the other members of the royal family are so popular and they are so loved by people. But in real sense, on the ground, the, what is happening is that William is not popular. And I even loved it more when this woman said that I think what happened here is that they were given a list of people so he is the best of a bad bunch and and i truly believe that that was the case because just take a look at this list of people prince william being at the top and then president putin being at the bottom with a negative 85 percent and these other people are king charles a trump and putin and some other people but then when it comes to these polls, I don't really understand or even know how these people conduct these polls. It's like they always do it to favor these royals because how else do you explain these polls coming out and you don't see people actually participating in these polls? I think it's just a story that is made up by the British media to make it look as though their royals are important. But in real sense, I'd not even be shocked if Trump appeared above Prince William. It's like the UK media has been working overtime to force these royals on the Americans. People in America don't actually care about these royals, other than Harry and Meghan, of course, because they now live in America. But these other royals, I don't think that Americans truly care about them, nor do Americans care about the popularity of, of these other royals. So it's actually laughable that this UK media this UK media keeps writing articles and forcing our people to like these other royals. They're not as important. And even this woman said that I lived in America a long time and honestly, I think most of them don't know whom 
William is. Is that really um, false? I think there's no lie detected there. Like so many people don't have an opinion on, on William or most of them don't even know whom William is. So for the UK media to be forcing their royals on Americans is really laughable and I think it's so ridiculous and they should stop it right now. Like it's so ridiculous. It... And I'm pretty sure that Americans are not impressed with these with these royals and they actually find it ridiculous that the UK taxpayer money supports their lifestyle and all they do is go shake a hand or two just in a week. So that is, I think it's not only Americans actually, people all around the globe find it ridiculous that this ideology of the royal family is actually made at look so important and the fact that they just go out and shake a hand or two in a week and then a taxpayer, a taxpayer money is used to fund their lifestyle. Yet there's nothing that these people actually do. All they do is wave at people, shake a hand or two and then cut ribbons. It's so ridiculous, right? And did you all see how the smiles on these people's faces are faded so fast? Did you all see that? First of all, this man called Nick Ferrari, like his face just went from 100 to 0 very, very fast. That is, his smile went from 100 to 0 very fast when this woman was giving her opinion on Prince William. These people are so desperate in defending the royals. They just want it to look as though these royals are so important. That's why uh, they just uh, want to defend them so much with their lives. And I'm very sure that he was preparing to give another very much defensive opinion. But you know, you can't really force uh, people to like someone. I'm very sure that people are very smart and they can see what these royals did to Princess Diana and also what they did to Prince Harry and Meghan. People are not fools. People can see that and people can remember everything. So the, f the fact that they keep forcing people to like these royals is utterly ridiculous. And it goes without saying that if Prince William was to be compared with Prince Harry, even without these people conducting polls, I'm very sure that Prince Harry is more popular than Prince William because Prince Harry has stood uh, for a lot of people. He's helping a lot of people, fighting for a lot of people. So I'm very sure that people can see the good work that Prince Harry is doing. So many people can see how genuine Prince Harry is. And of course, I never believe these polls because one time they'll be like, Prince, uh, Prince Harry is more popular than Prince William. And then the next day they'll be like, Prince William is more popular than Prince Harry. You see, these people, I don't even know if they conduct these polls. I don't know whom uh, or where they conduct these polls. No wonder I don't believe them. But I believe that Prince Harry and Meghan are loved by a lot of people. Because despite all the negative headlines since uh, Harry and Meghan got married, you still can see that so many people are here to defend Prince Harry and Meghan. All that negative stuff about Prince Harry and Duchess Meghan has not gotten into a lot of people's minds. So I believe that people can see Prince Harry and Meghan for whom they are genuinely. And people don't care about these other royals because they, they don't genuinely help people. They don't help people the way that Prince Harry and Meghan have done. So yeah, that's my, my opinion on this. And I just love that. This woman actually told the truth even though these other, uh, these other ones who are listening were so bitter. Well, they should just learn to tell the truth instead of telling lies over and over again and forcing their opinions on other people. Well, that is what I'm going to say for today. Let me know what your thoughts are concerning this and I'll see you all squaddies on the next podcast. Have a wonderful and amazing day. Goodbye.